What's up, 83 Crew? Pilot83 here. Tonight, we got a great drop on PC and Xbox, a plane that I have been waiting to come. Uh, it came a lot sooner than I expected, and that is the Lear Avia Lear Fan 2100. We're going to check this plane out, $24.99. But before we get into it, let's listen to a quick word from our sponsor. What's up, YouTube? Pilot83 here. So since the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, there has been a huge abundance of new simmers coming to the sim world, and that is great. The love of flight is beautiful. With that being said, we have a lot of new people who are wondering where do I begin? How do I get into flight simming? And also we have people who are more seasoned who are wondering how do I go from flying that Cessna 172 to flying that A320 or that Boeing 747 jetliner. Well our good friends at FS Academy have put together many training tutorial add-ons that cover all of this. Let me show you more right here. So FS Academy was designed by a real airline captain. FS Academy brings a complete series of flight tutorial missions for Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC and Xbox. Fly with your onboard instructor and get to grips with a wide range of authentic training flights designed to mirror a real pilot training program. Each pack containing 12 training missions and a complete ground school manual. The manuals are all free to be downloaded on the FS Academy website. You will go through Navigator, VFR, IFR, Jetliner, and Voyager. All packed with 12 missions besides Voyager, which is packed with 7. And from August 5th to August 12th, all of these packages will be 30% off. So do not miss out on these great tutorials as these have even taught me many, many things that I did not know. So big shout out to FS Academy for sponsoring this video. And big thanks for giving back to the community and putting these on sale for 30% off. Let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so this is the Lear fan, designed by the famous Bill Lear of Learjet fandom and the father of the private jet sector. Bill envisioned a lighter, sleeker turboprop that would be more economical to own and maintain as compared with private jets. His hopes were to bring in a new turboprop that could compete with small jets at a fraction of the price. The sleek prop jet was completely made of carbon fiber which was ahead of its time in the 1980s. The power plant was originally dual jet turboprop engines side by side in the tail, running shafts to a transmission out to the propeller. The system was a very similar to a helicopter twin jet setup. This enabled the plane to have a backup engine if one of the jets had a in-flight issue. So really excited to try this. Um, it looks really great inside. Uh, it ha it has a sp cruise speed of 280 knots, a max speed of 390 knots. Um, it could go 30 to 40,000 feet. And they said, I wanted to keep the speed, same as the original, the ceiling of the FL-20 and the original 2100 was 40,000 feet, featured a massive range of 1,780 nautical miles. So super neat. Really excited to try this plane out. It looks absolutely just gorgeous inside. I mean, look at this. We get a good bit of liveries. This plane is just so unique. So let's go ahead, take her out. Let's hope there's no issues. I'll see y'all guys in a moment. All right, guys, here she is, the Learfan 2100. Beautiful looking aircraft. A lot of nice liveries here. Oh, look at that. Y'all know I got to take it. All right. That's the Air Force. All right. Well, let's take it out, guys. See y'all in just a moment. Okay, pilots. So I went ahead and chose a brighter livery. And I have something a little more spunk to it. Plane looks really, really good. Really pretty. Looks really well done. Very unique looking plane. I am highly impressed. It looks so clean. I mean, the inside of this plane just looks really good as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe that tablet is what does all that. We'll see. We'll, we will see. We will see. Okay. Get in here. Did any of this do anything? Hide that. Hide that. Left door. Door seal pressurization. What we got over here? Oh, there's how we open the sun shades. Park mode. Luggage mode. What is all this? Ooh. Oh. Getting a little crazy here, guys. Now that is freaking neat. Super cool. Luggage park mode. Sun shades are open now. Um, tablet, 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 specs, okay, checklist, oh, <laughs> T, Earl Grey Hot, click this to stop warning alarms. Auto has reverse thrust control. Well, that's neat. Okay. What did that say? Condition lever 100%. Prop to 100%. Come on. Why are you going reverse? There we go. Fuel selector is on all flaps. Is hit down one. We'll turn these on because we will be checking all these. Just like the Honda Jet. Ignition. Watch our, let our engines start up real quick. Taz system test, okay. She's sounding really good. Okay, so let's go ahead, turn off our starter. Ooh. Yes, okay. Let's look at this plane in the dark. Come on, it's not. Okay. Now that is a beautiful looking plane.
Okay, let's go ahead and turn back on the sun. Okay, sun's on. Let's go ahead, shut this door. Let's go ahead and pressurize. Okay. Let's come over here. We need to click what menu. Just to ch check the autopilot, see what we see. Ooh. Autopilot's all up there. Well. Let's go take her for a spin, shall we? She is spunky. She's got some get up and go. I want to have to do some tutorials in this plane. It's like this plane can do a lot. Let's see the glide slope, terrain, steep approach, flat override. Seems to be working fine on the Xbox. that is all right let's go wow wow plane will get up and go. Where, why are you, is the show we're going over speed? Don't know what that. Flaps are up, gears up. Hmm. Why is there an overspeed at 175? There was no alarm there. Turn some autopilot. Altitude hold. Nah, we'll take this real quick. We need to turn this to probably GPS. There we go. Now the plane is going to the flight plan. On the torque, but yeah, well, that's weird. We're getting that. I'm not sure what that's about. I will have to research that some more. Uh, let's 
going altitude hold right here. speed seems to be no issue there turn on half bank Flight level control. Heading select. Your CDI. Look at the specs. Oh, we're gonna turn that one off. Nope, that one. Cruise 280 knots. Max 304 knots at 40,000 feet. Or oh, 280 knots at 30,000 feet. That's probably why. Probably doesn't show that till it's up there. Now oh, it's got a far range. CDI has source GPS. Flying smooth. Turn the vertical speed back on. It'll get up there, but uh, let's do some manual flying. Fill her out. She flies great. Let's go ahead and take her to. Thirty thousand feet, real quick. See what happens. Where we were not getting an overspeed alarm. She's got plenty. Of get up and go. We'll push her. Such a neat little plane.
I would assume the higher we go that would change. But I got a feeling it's not. I'll, I'll have to look more into that, guys, and see what I can figure out for y'all. Shall we roll it? Definitely roll it. We'll go ahead and bring her in for a landing. The first one I've ever done in this plane. Definitely we'll do some more videos of this plane. As this plane definitely is very interesting and has my attention. Fly so well. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, is that landing gear thing? As soon as you put it to idle, it starts saying landing gear. That can get annoying. All right, let's go ahead and bring her in for a landing. Landing gear. 
So curious about why it says we're over speed. If any of y'all know anything about that, please let me know. Okay, we drop gear below 170. One twenty five, we put down three. What a great plane, guys. Absolutely gets my approval. Completely. Definitely worth $25. I am curious about the whole overspeed thing. I'm sure we'll figure that out. But other than that, I mean, the plane is just freaking great. It's absolutely amazing. As always, guys, I am Pilot83. Happy to show off uh, these planes these add-ons this is definitely one that is well welcomed to the sim definitely on the console as always guys come join the discord we are over 500 on our way to a thousand come be a part of one of the greatest and one of the most welcome communities there is in the sim world if you want to come help donate to the channel for these previews always feel free to donate to the cash app right here also guys come buy some merch at our merch store as you see right here we have a lot of cool items that also greatly helps out as well get you a cool item and uh, help the channel in return be sure you keep up with me and the team on all our social media outlets because we share many things news photos things of that nature till next time guys i am pilot 83 see y'all guys in the air united we fly What's up guys, Pilot83 here. Thank y'all so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always y'all, remember, united we fly. See y'all in the air out there. Peace.